Anthony Higginbottom. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. I have no hesitation in supporting this bill when it comes to a vote tomorrow because it delivers on so many of the manifesto promises I made to residents across Burnley and Paddyham. It starts by toughening up the sentences for drink and drug drivers who kill whilst under the influence, for criminals who assault our emergency service workers, for those in positions of trust who groom children for exploitation, and it does all of this whilst also tackling unauthorised traveller camps who show no regard for local residents and their planning system, and so much more. What's not to like in this bill, Mr Deputy Speaker? But with so much in the bill, I'm going to keep my remarks to just a small number of areas. The first is the desecration of war memorials. And I've been incredibly disappointed to hear Labour MPs opposite indicate that this provision doesn't matter, because it does. We have some fantastic memorials in Burnley, not least the Cenotaph in Townley, Hall, in Townley Park, and memorials to so many others in our villages, Hapton, Westhorn, and others. And the images we saw last year of our national cenotaph being targeted caused hurt, upset, and anger. That's why this matters. So I'm really pleased that the government has recognised the strength of feeling on this and introduced tougher sentences as a result. This bill also delivers on our promise to bring in a smarter, more credible sentencing system one which deals with the most serious violent offenders by ending the automatic release at the halfway point, which tackles repeat offenders that blight our communities, which makes youth rehabilitation orders more effective at reducing youth offending. And Mr Deputy Speaker, I spent some time before coming to this place mentoring young offenders when they were in prison, and I have no doubt that this will make a difference. I have, however, received emails from concerned constituents about the protest provisions in the bill. So let's be clear, nothing in this bill alters a person's fundamental right to protest and make their voice heard. But the right to protest does not give anyone the right to block an ambulance going to a hospital. It doesn't give someone the right to stop someone going to work to earn a living. It doesn't bring with it the right to stop a newspaper being printed just because you disagree with the contents. Because just as important as the right to protest is the right to a free press, the right to life, the right to employment. So this just gives equal weight to all of those competing rights. Mr Deputy Speaker, this bill puts the right of the law-abiding majority first. It protects victims. It backs our police and our emergency service workers. And with that in mind, it should command cross-party support tomorrow evening.